Hello, this is Lex Berman, and welcome to the second tutorial for QGIS 2.10. In this one, we'll be using the attribute table, and we'll use the expressions tool to query the attribute table. And the last time we left off with a view of uh, the continents and the airports. And now we're going to use some selection tools to select by location. So um, the first thing I want to point out is that the identify tool will only work for the selected layer, the active layer. So if I make continents active and select, you can see that it's North America. And if I click an empty space, I'll unselect that or unidentify it. If I use the airports layer and click here, I get nothing because the airports layer is my active layer. But if I click on an airport, then I will get something. Okay, so that's basically something to know about the identify tool. In fact, I got more than one, one object that time. Okay, so let's do a select by location. What we're going to do is, first we're going to uh, zoom in a little bit, zoom in over here. So what we're going to do is select Australia, and then we're going to use the Australian polygon to select all the airports that intersect with it, that overlap it. So the first thing we need to do is turn on our selection tool. And we could select by radius or uh, feature or polygon. I like just selecting by feature. And we want to make sure that the the layer that we want to select from is active. If airports is selected and I click here, then I won't get any features selected. If I make continents active and click on it, I've selected the Australian continent. Again, right click, attribute table, shows you which one you've selected, Australia. That's fine. What I want to do now is select all the uh, airports that overlap that polygon. So to do that, it's pretty straightforward. I want to go to Vector, you have a lot of tools available here, research tools, and select by location. Okay, that gives me a dialog menu that will say select the features in the airports layer that intersect the feature in the continents layer. And I want to only include the features that are selected. If I uncheck that, I'll, I'll just basically select all of the features that overlap all of the features in the continent layer, but I only want the ones that overlap with my selected feature of Australia. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that's down here, selected features. These first four have to do with the type of intersect or overlap or complete containment. So I could say only the ones that are completely contained within the feature and the ones that intersect with the feature and so on. There's, there's several different ways of doing it, touching, adjacency, overlapping. So intersecting features, and I'll create a new selection, say OK, and I'll close this. And now if I go to tr unrender my continents layer, I can see that only the airports, if I zoom to the airports, only the airports that overlapped Australia are now selected. If I look at my attribute table, I can see that there were 266 airports that were selected. And that's basically how I do it. Now, what I'll do now is I will actually uh, undo this. I'm going to use the deselect all features, and I'm going to redo it for Africa. Okay, and there's a reason for that, because I want to then do a query by country. And if I do Australia, there's only one country. But if I select Africa as a continent, and then I redo the query, vector, research tools, select by location, all the airports that intersect with Africa, OK. And that should have gotten me the African airports, which it did. Now here's a cool thing. Once I have my selection of those airports, which are 690 airports. I can now right click and go to save as 
and I can save a whole new file, which I'll put on my desktop. And I'll call it Africa Airports. Okay, as a shapefile. Sorry, that was below your screen. Um, and I named it Africa Airports. I'm going to keep using the same coordinate system, WGS84. And I only want to save the selected features into my new file. And I'll use the same encoding. And I'll just say OK at this point. So now if I turn off the airports, I can see that, in fact, only the African airports were saved to this new layer called Africa Airports. So that's basically um, an introduction to some selection techniques. Now we're going to do something a little bit more interesting, which will be to select by an expression. And to do that, I'm going to add a new file. So first, I'm going to deselect everything. And I'll add a new file from my tutorial called Natural Earth Countries of the World. So now I have a file which I'll change up here in the layers. I'll move it below the airports. Now I have a file of all the countries of the world. And let's say I want to find Algeria using an expression. So I want the layer that I'm querying to be active. And I can use this expression tool, which is now part of the main toolbar. It basically just loads up the query expression editor. And this is actually a powerful SQL editor for SQL queries and functions. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to compose a query, which basically says, for a particular field, I want to look for something in it. So I'll double click here, and I'll say, in this admin field, OK, then I will look at my operators. I want to find things that are like and then I want to spell out in single quotes the string that I want to find. I'm going to look for Algeria. So I'm going to say select. And if you look in the very bottom left, the results show up on my status bar. One feature was actually selected. And there it is. So I found Algeria. That's kind of cool. And now I have this selection, which I can then edit if I'd like. And, uh, or I could now do another subselection. For example, I can do vector research, select by location, and I can say find the African airports that fall within the natural earth countries but only for the selection. So now I have just airports here, African airports. I can then do the same thing again and kind of go in an infinite loop here. And I can save it as a file called Algeria airports, and so on. Only the selected features. And I can re-symbolize. If you double click on the feature symbol in the layer. You can open the properties and get to style and change them to a different symbol, for example. I'll show you more of this later. But basically, um, this gives an idea of the power of using the selection and expression tools in QGIS 2.10.